everyone how are you today um so today's mini album um is quite like uh, unlike anything i ever had um done in a quite a while um the, it's using the coral couture stack and if you saw my last video i got a few paper pads from um an estate sale and this is one um that estate sale actually had a lot of um paper pads that i had been wanting but you know when you're in the moment and you're broke you kind of have to choose between the two uh, that you have in your hand and so um, I'm so happy that I got my hands on this uh, paper pad because it is one that I had been wanting for quite a while and um, every time I went to the store it was always sold out or I just couldn't afford it and so uh, anyways uh, that's enough story about my life so let me go ahead and show you the paper pad it is so beautiful it is um, the reason why I say it's like unlike anything I've done before is because these are not normally colors that I reach for while they are beautiful, I just don't, um, for some reason, just don't reach for these colors. You know, like, orange is not that prevalent in my life, although it should be, because every time I wear it, people say I look good in it. So, um, you know, maybe I should start investing in it <laughs> a little bit more. And so, anyways, um, this one is a kind of a tinier album. It is, um, the cover is 6 by 3 by 6 and then the inside is, uh, 6 and a half by 5 and a half yeah and so anyways um the front i kind of wanted to do like a little assortment of things i wanted to use this little tag because it's so pretty and it had this gold foil on the edge um that i uh fussy cut um around the tag because it was part of a, like a larger tag and so i just added like a wooden thing on the back of this and then i added just some words and then i had this little bird cage in my collection that i um you know, I thought it would have been perfect with it. And so anyways, um, I have this glitter canvas and I found this again in my little collection from like an old Michaels sticker thing in their dollar bin. Um, here is the back. And so let's go ahead and get started. So this one is so beautiful. It has a lot of golds and reds in it. Um, and then it has pops of blue. So uh, just, I mean, oh, so gorgeous. And so anyways, um, I decided to make this little flap and then add a little tag in the inside. And then we have this little frame. Um, I do love this frame. You'll see it in a few of my other albums because it's number one, one of the easiest ones to cut <laughs> on the Cricut, and number two, it is just easy to find. And so, um, that's me. That's my life. It's just, you know, I try to make things easy on myself so I don't stress myself out. Oh, but anyways, on the top, let's go ahead and pull this out. So, I just have a little, um, photo mat that's blank on the back. All right, so for this one, um, this was one of the pages, but I just kind of like fussy cut around it and inserted this um, photo mat in there to kind of give it a little bit more bling. Um, and then again, here is another little flap. And I added one of those dollar store um, Michael stickers with the little bead on the bottom. There we go. And then when we open it up, spots for photos, more spots for photos. And then um, I just kind of used some scraps in my decorative scissors to just make a little photo mat here. It's blank on the back, so that's what that looks like. I tried to make it a little bit, a little bit interesting, you know, with a lot of different flaps and stuff in here. No, not super interactive, but um, I just wanted to use so many of the paper, like, because they were just so beautiful. And so, uh, anyways, I added a little vellum here, mostly because this was getting stuck over here, but <laughs> it ended up working out because I have this little vellum uh, paper in my stash. And so here's a spot that'll fit a little 3x3 three three photos. And I did cut out some little birds, little glitter birds to kind of accentuate it. And this frame is so beautiful. I just, uh, I can't get over it. I love the pink and the maroons next together. I almost thought that I was going to be messing up this page with this but I really like seeing it on camera I really do like it and so um here's another one of the top loading pages here we go and add a little border down here just to kind of bring out that blue all right so when we turn this page I just added the word family down here because it is like a really bold picture and so you could either add wallet photos or like you know um um I want to say a four by five photo here um, but I, I would personally add wallet photos just because I don't want, I wouldn't want to block all these beautiful flowers out. But anyways, um, here I just made a little collection of flowers that I had in my stash. And then when you open it up, spot for photos here, spot for photos there. 
and then this frame oh my gosh look at this red foil I don't even well I did get it in the collection that I bought from the um, estate sale because she had just kind of like random papers there and I just grabbed you know whatever I could because a lot of people were just grabbing stuff and so um, I got I found out that I had this red foil and I was like in love I have to order, order more um, all right and so for this one I just cut out the word memories and glitter added some butterflies here and then just a, a little collection up here of just images and whatnot. I tried to make it pretty, kind of like a delicate looking album, if that makes sense. All right, and so I have another one of these little angle pockets with a little tag. You can write happinesses, whatever. And then this is just a photo mat. So that's what that looks like. All right. And same thing here I just added a little sticker up top because I really love the bird on this page and of course it might have to be covered with a photo here but until then we'll just enjoy the image all right and so for this one I just made a little um, photo mat where when you stick a photo on you will have gold peeking up on the bottom and then gold peeking on the top so that's just what that looks like all right. and here is oh here is the pullout for this one. You can see a little bit of the glitter on the um, paper here. All right, and so for the back page, we have another one of these beautiful frames. This one was so hard to cut out. I uh, mean, not hard, but it was like long. It took a long time because there was a lot of more little pieces than I thought. And so um, it just took a little bit extra patience to get this out. But I think the result ended up being very beautiful. And it actually did... I feel go really well with this album because it has like you know like the branches and the birds and so this frame kind of gives like that branch look and so anyways it is open on the back um I don't, oh here's a little one it is open on the back so you can slip a photo there there we go um and so that is the end of that album i hope you guys like it hopefully it won't take me a long time to record another one um but um you guys enjoy and you have a wonderful day bye